And we're almost there, almost ready to say Merry Christmas, all that good stuff. I'm Scott Spreitzer. He's Chuck Esposito, Sportsbook Director here at the Red Rock Station Hotel and Casino. And uh, listen, man, I know you had a fantastic run, Chuck. The books were cleaning up. It seemed like every time we had you on, we were talking about, well, you were grinning from ear to ear, I'll say that. We were talking about the dogs cashing. And then last week comes along and bang, boom. And then all of a sudden you got a situation where the faves go 11-3. and three. Not only that, but faves of more than a field goal win a perfect 9-0 and oh against the spread. Now, I know you've had a good season for the most part, but still, that's a little rough to take sometimes. Well, you said it's almost ready to, to wish <laughs> Merry Christmas. It was Merry Christmas from the from the bookmakers to uh, uh, to all the betters. But no, celebrate. Yeah, you guys did awesome this week. Favorites came in. Uh, the bad teams, the Jets, the Giants, the, the Texans, the Jags, the Bears, the Raiders, teams that are really struggling, who have struggled all year against the numbers, all got beat up pretty bad, and uh, betters did well. I mean, I think they're still cashing, to be yeah, honest yeah. with you. A lot of smiles <laughs> on the other side of the counter, but congratulations on a great week. Okay, so the Rams and Cardinals. Now, I, I like the Rams on Monday night, but the play that I needed to make a difference in winning or losing last week, and I ended up having a losing card in the NFL, was the under between Arizona and the Rams. And, and I got it early. It was 51 and a half. I know it was 52 at one portion early in the week. Uh, but I got 51 and a half, and they go over the total on a 50-yard field goal right. in the closing minute. And it took more than that. Listen, I don't, I don't whine. I'm not one of those guys who stomps grapes and makes wine after every time he loses. But we lost. So... I know, though, behind the counter that had to balance things out a little bit when the Rams got the victory. Oh, yeah, the Rams' victory was huge. It was, as we talked about, a, a really good weekend for the, the betters of the guests. There was a couple of unders on Sunday that we needed as well. Bengals 49ers was a huge game. Sure. It went into overtime. They got the over. Yep. Uh, the Bucks um, and the Bills we needed <laughs> under. That game got over. Just one of those weekends where a lot of favorites got there and a lot of late overs. But Rams winning really was a huge thing after that big weekend on, uh, on Sunday. I know a lot of people who had the Bills last week <laughs> right. and lost that game in overtime. And a lot of those folks got it at three and a half. So only, you know, I got to tell you real quickly, I was on the Stardust line many, many years ago. Um, Joe Lupo was over right, there yeah. at the time, now uh -huh. in New Jersey, been there for a long time. And I was in the contest against Benjamin Lee Eckstein, who is a writer, right, as you uh -huh. know. And, yeah. and so I was 5-1 and one in the contest. It was like the semifinals. I think Kenny White won it that year. I was 5-1. and one, or I was 5-0-1. Oh Benjamin was 5-1. and one. I had the Chargers on a Monday night, plus 3.5. They go to overtime against Kansas City. And the first time in the history of the NFL, Tamarick Vanover, runs a punt back for a touchdown in overtime of about 90 yards to beat me. So I, I get it. I know when right. that happens yep. when it comes to it does happen. the folks yeah. that lost to the Bills the other night, but then the flip side of it, some folks got the win with the Buccaneers. So you cashed the Rams, and now going into this week, we're midweek. Uh, what are you looking at as far as where your liability is right now? I think right now it's the uncertainty. I mean, you look at the, the Cleveland and the Raider game. Mm -hmm. um, you look at what's going on with uh, Jackson right now, with the Rams, the Vikings, the Washington football team. There's so many teams that have kind of COVID implications right now, sure. quarterbacks that might play or, or might not play. There's just a lot of uncertainty right now. Talked about the Chiefs and Chargers Thursday mm -hmm. night football. I think the big keys here, everybody says that it's a, at least it's a home game for the Chargers. It's really not. I mean, yeah. that stadium favors the Rams so much. When you see a Charger game, you're going to see a lot of red in that stadium that night. They're up against maybe the hottest team in football outside of the Patriots right now, and it looks more and more like the teams that played in last year's Super Bowl sure. are on a collision course again for this year's Super yeah. Bowl. It's no longer a San Diego home crowd. I, I went to Carson when, before they opened up right. the new stadium to see a Chargers game, and it was against Philly. It's almost not fair to It the was Chargers. crazy. It, it was 2-1, you know, to one, right. the attendance yep. in favor of the visitors. And even though the crowds are bigger and the stadium is beautiful and all that kind of stuff, there's still one and a half or two time or two to one as far as the crowd is concerned for the other side, especially a team like Kansas City. It's not right. a home field, no doubt about it. You got to factor, I guess, a little bit for traveling, but it's not a typical home field advantage. But you're going to see an influx of red there. I sure. think we saw it with the Chargers or uh, the uh, Raiders a few weeks ago. The Steelers played there on a primetime right. game. It was all black and gold that yep. night. So I think you're going to see a lot of red. They're playing really well right now. That offense is starting to come around, but really defensively. Yep. I mean, you look at that defense, they are stout. They're playing well. They're on a big roll right now. Uh, Patriots have a couple of tough games, Colts and then Bills. We'll see how it all shakes out, but whoever gets that home field advantage in the AFC, if you have to go through Arrowhead, that is not an easy spot to do it at. Not at all. I want to talk about the Bulls. They begin this Friday, and uh, I want to talk about the playoffs for just a second because you don't have to worry about motivation and who is and who's not right. when it comes to the Final Four. 
How's the betting been on the two games, and where's the action been thus far? You know, there hasn't been a ton of movement so far. We're starting to see a little bad money show up. We saw a little bit of Georgia money when sure. we first posted that game. It moved a half a point, but there was some higher numbers out there, and it didn't get bet up to those numbers. Mm -hmm. I think Michigan's live. I think you look at a team that can play defense the way that they can play. Offensively, they've been good. They seem to love playing for Jim sure. Harbaugh. Um, I'm going to be interested to see how that game ends up if, if it goes back down to seven. I think there's value on Michigan getting anything over a touchdown. Just don't know if Cincy hangs with Bama or yeah. not. I know it could be Georgia and Alabama again in the <laughs> national championship game. Uh, but for me, I think Michigan's live, guys. Oh, good stuff. Listen, I, I got to talk about the STN Sports app for just a minute. You know, and I tell people this all the time. We've said about it when we've talked about it on videos. Uh, that fight last month between uh, Porter and, and Bud. Right. You know, you had a lot of people out here from the Midwest. I grew up in Omaha, so of course I hate rooting against Sean Porter. Yeah. I've done a couple shows with him. He's a great guy, but I had to because my Omaha roots go a little bit right. deeper, you know. <laughs> but people came out, and it was a situation where I'm like, go grab yourself a sports app. So you don't just have to live in the state of Nevada. If you're coming in town, holidays coming up, and you're going to be in town for a few days, man, come to the, one of the station properties, get the STN Sports app, because when you are done, if you win, you get to collect that money. It takes about 38 and a half seconds to get that right. money, and you can jump on your plane and head home. Tell the folks <laughs> what they did. Last get. week, I think it was about 30 yeah. seconds, but uh, really, it is great. I mean, I, I think based on what, what Scott said, it's there's so much going on right now with the holidays. There's honey to do lists, local or somebody visiting friends and family out here. It really does bring the sports book to you with all these different events going on. It's in the palm of your hand for all these events, up to $100 bonus right now for new signups and that kind of cool STN mobile cap for $50 or more at initial deposit. So it really is the sports book in your hands. Check out the Red Rock Station Race and Sportsbook, all the station casinos, and come by and say, come by and say hi to Chuck if you get a chance. Uh, he's not busy on weekends, so just visit him. Say hi. <laughs> He'll chat with you. I'm lighting candles. I'm <laughs> praying for an underdog. I'm waiting for the puppies to bark. I heard nothing. <laughs> for Chuck, I'm Scott. We'll talk to you next week, everybody. Good luck.